Hello, Clark. Uh, my supervisor told me that you wanted to see me. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Stand, not... stand up, help him out. Stand up. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Oh. This should not take long. Uh, am I in trouble? Have a seat. Um, we've been noticing a pattern of behavior lately that has raised some concerns. What? I'm going to be quite frank with you. What do you mean? We've received reports of misconduct, dress code violation, damage of office property, as well as complaints of inappropriate touching of... Tell him those things again and make them more serious. Get closer to him. More serious and make each one more different. Closer to him, Marwin. All right. A little bit more close. All right. We Break this to him gently. This is serious. Very serious. Go. Right. We received reports of misconduct, dress code violation damage of office property, as well as complaints of inappropriate touching of... Good. Court. Better. Prakash, you need to react to each thing he says. It's shocking. Each thing. And each thing is different. Ready? Go. So, we received reports of misconduct, dress code violations, damage of office property... Is he serious? As Check. ...as complaints of inappropriate touching of co-workers from... Uh, what? Defend yourself, go! Did Lois, go! <laughs> Did Lois say that? From both male and female staffers. Blow his mind, tell him that again. From both male and female staffers. Oh. <laughs> well, I can explain that. Please do. Change your mind. But not right now. All right. Your supervisor wrote Clark is constantly nowhere to be found in time of need and seems to disappear every 25 seconds. Do you know a crime is committed in this city every 25 seconds? What? Nothing, just a fun fact. Look, Clark, this isn't your first meeting with HR, and if, it's, if this behavior doesn't change, we can tell you that you go. You're going to fire me? We don't have too many options. You've already got two strikes and... Fro... Oof. Okay. Fine. You have backed me into a corner and left me in no choice. For what? The truth is, I'm Superman. There's strike. <laughs> oh, no. Really? See? I'm. A Get through to him. Go, go, go. It's me, it's Superman. Duh. That's why I have been disappearing all the time and the inappropriate, inappropriate touching is just a misunderstanding. Clark, <coughs> how am I supposed to save people's lives if I can't pick them up and carry that, them? That's enough. Clark Kent is just my alter ego. Why? I am really a superhero. No. Your name is Clark Quali and you work in accounting. No. I'm 6'5", Gaussian, and good at flying. You're 5'6", from Nepal, and good at filing. <laughs> I was born on planet Krypton. Just please You be stop. tough with him. Tell him that like you're on Game of Thrones. Go, I was born. Be tough. I, wa I was born in planet Krypton. You put your, hold your head high, and you tell him how dare you. Go. I was born in planet Krypton. <laughs> <laughs> Just please stop. <laughs> but I am a superman. Look. Beg him. Plead with him. Please believe me. I am a superman. Cry and tell him please. I 
am Superman. No, whisper to him, please. Don't make me go back out there, please. I am Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. We work at a newspaper company and your name is Clark K. Clark Coughlin. Sorry. It was funny the first couple of weeks, but... Whisper, don't let anyone hear you. It was funny the first couple <laughs> of weeks, but this is just getting sad, and now it's affecting the workplace. But... This is your final warning. <laughs> if you want to keep your job, you will drop this whole Clark Kent Superman nonsense. Got it? Yes, sir. Good. It won't happen. Promise him. Promise him. Beg him. Don't fire me. Tell him that again. It won't happen. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Thank you. <laughs>